Hey, how's it going guys? Um, my name is Rodney Thomas. I am a 32 year old, 32 year old male living in uh, Florida. Uh, I'm making this video um, just, you know, because um, I want to, I guess. Um, it's been 21 days um, since my last alcoholic drink. Um, it's been a very, very long time coming. Um, it's one of those things that, you know, you kind of know you should have done a long time ago and you just really just put it off and you put it off and, um, well, 21 days ago, something clicked, something in my head said, you know, maybe it's time to, to let this go and, you know, start looking to do other things with your life and, you know, so you can feel more fulfilled. Um, and to be all, you know, honest and stuff, uh, 21 days ago, my fiance said, hey, let's do a dry month. And I agreed. Um, I'm the winner. I'm still not drinking. Uh, but, you know, it was one of those things that I thought, I think that I needed to, you know, do or uh, just have set forth for me so that I could start this journey. Um, I've been a problem drinker for around eight or nine years now, um, starting in college, um, all the way until now, until I'm 32 years old. Um, this has been one of those things I just, you know, kind of just didn't think very much of because, you know, I grew up with people who drank and, you know, did drugs and, you know, for me, my life is a little different. I'm in a better position than they were. Um, so I think I kind of always thought to myself, you know, if you're here and you're doing it, it's fine. Um, as long as you're not there and doing it. Um, I thought that it would make a big difference uh, just because, you know, maybe I have a slightly better job than they did or I live in a better neighborhood than they are. But um, in all reality, you know, I was still the same, you know, person um, they were just in a different spot. I'm still battling. Uh, with addiction, I think it was something that I thought, you know, would miss me. It didn't. Um, it smacked me right in the face. Um, it, it blindfolded me and then smacked me, pretty much, because I just, I didn't see it for such a long time. And I always thought to myself, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not a, I don't have an addiction. I don't have a problem. <clears throat> but um, I did. Um, and what I mean by a problem did I have one or two every night? No. I buy a six-pack, drink that, um, go to the store, buy another one, you know, drink half of that and, you know, pass out. And that was if I got off, got home around 8 o'clock. So probably wasn't going to bed until 1 or 2. Um, and you can, that's, you know, recently. Um, back in the day, you know, I was up till the crack of dawn, you know, going hard with my friends and, thinking I was having a great time, um, thinking I was hanging out with friends, um, which, you know, they proved, you know, not to be, you know, friends, which, you know, it, it happens when you're in college and, you know, you're discovering who you are and uh, figuring out where you lie in this world and, you know, who you're going to be. Um, you come across, you know, more people, more than not, you know, who, who aren't genuinely your friend. They're there to have fun just the same way you are. So, um, but yeah, um, I kind of just, you know, really wanted to make this video just to kind of keep a diary of just kind of how I felt, you know, about the entire, about the entire situation. Um, I feel great. Um, after th 21 days of no alcohol, I feel absolutely amazing. Um, very lucky that I did not have after that, th that many years of drinking, I'm very lucky I didn't have um, some type of physical addic addiction. And what I mean by that is um, no tremors, no seizures, um, you know, literally the day that I decided after the hangover was over for Memorial Day, um, you know, I felt great the next day, you know, and I've continued to feel great. Now, I have thought about alcohol every single day there has not been a day where i have not told myself have a drink have one 
Show yourself you can have one. Show yourself you can have one. Um, I know I'm lying to myself. I know that I'm giving myself permission to do something I know I should not be doing. Um, and it, I'm not, I don't mean to say it in a way where, you know, I feel as if I'm punishing myself or I'm, you know, keeping myself from something. It's just, it's just an understanding of me truly knowing that if I have an alcoholic beverage, it does not stop at one. It never has. Even when I first started drinking one beer, I, I literally went, you know, pedal to the metal the first day I started drinking. Um, so, you know, that's, that's just something that I think is going to happen, you know, regardless if I wanted to or not, you know, and I don't, I don't feel like a failure because of I'm thinking about alcohol. If anything, I feel stronger. I feel stronger knowing that I can think about it and not do it. I can think about, you know, wanting to consume alcohol and not consume it, you know, and I've met many people in my life who do not have that type of willpower. I've met many people who will give in, you know, at the first thought, at the first problem, at the first hiccup that they're, you know, that happens in their life. And it's not because, you know, I know it's not because they want to. I, I know it's not because they're weak per se. It's just, you know, alcohol is, it's, it's an amazing drug. It is absolutely amazing. It literally... Uh, it will kick your ass, you know, if you're not strong, if you're not strong willed, if you come from a place that, you know, didn't teach you that alcohol was bad and, you know, you find yourself in its grips, it will absolutely kick your ass, you know, and it's a bully, you know, it, it comes back for more and more and more until it takes everything you got, until it takes your money, your friendships, your relationships, um, your family, your career, um, it will literally take everything from you and then ask for more. It literally, it's, it's greedy. Um, it's, it's the craziest thing. And I think, you know, in the midst of, you know, trying to stop, you know, I keep giving myself these little pats on the back, right? So I'm telling myself, good job, man, good job. Um, but I'm only three weeks in. You know, which it's great, but I know that I haven't even gotten close to, you know, where I want to be as far as, you know, this change in life, you know, and I watched a video before I made this video and, and the guy was saying, you know, he's like, I don't like to call it sobriety. He's like, I'm not sober. He's like, I don't have any alcohol in my system, but I'm not sober. Um, and the idea behind it is, you know, yeah, I might, you know, be not drinking right now, but I'm still filled with all those things that, you know, pushed me to drink in the first place. A lot of that stuff is still there. Um, a lot of the anxiety that I had, you know, and granted, I do not deal with it far as much as I did when I was, you know, binge drinking. Um, but it, there's still some anxiety there. There's still some, you know, doubt in my mind. And I know that at the end of the day, you know, as long as all that's there, you know, as long as all that is present, um, I'm still not a sober man. And I know I need to, you know, keep a good head on my shoulders. I know I need to understand that, you know, this is going to be a journey, you know, just as, you know, the rest of my life has been up to this point. It's just a new journey. It's, it's a journey that, you know, I don't get to, you know, hit that, you know, that, that easy button on and say, hey, I feel anxiety. Let me have a drink or, hey, um, I'm upset. Let me have a drink or, hey, you know, we got to go here. Let me have a drink, you know, and um, I'm tired of hitting that easy button. Um, so no more easy buttons. Um, yeah, you know, just going to go through life and you know, as a person who uses his, you know, natural abilities, his natural social skills um, in order to function in this world. And I think, you know, I'm a lot, I will be a lot better for it. And 
Um, you know, of course, I'm not making this, you know, to get followers or sympathy or, you know, hey, good jobs. I'm doing it for myself um, so that I can go back and, you know, really look at these things and, you know, hear myself say them more importantly. Um, you know, if you find yourself, you know, in the same boat or maybe you you somehow relate or, you know, you know someone who does relate, um, you know, and you feel compelled, you know, to follow me or whatever it may be. I do plan on making more videos. Uh, this is my first. As you can see, I have no fancy camera equipment. Um, all this light is natural. <laughs> it's coming from outside. I'm in my living room sitting on my couch. There's no ring light. Uh, there's no special effects. Um, this is just all me. And this is as raw as it gets. And, you know, of course, over time, hey, who knows? Maybe I'll get more stuff. Uh, but as of right now, it's it's, it's going to be all me. And if you did watch this, thank you. If, you know, if you stumbled upon it, thank you for listening this long. 11 minutes. Holy shit. I can really talk. Uh, but, yeah, this is me.